Hello everyone. My name is K. Chinchiridi, working as a student professor in Thikar Krishna at Engineering College. In this video, I will explain uh, bipolar pulse width modulation technique. Uh, I will apply bipolar pulse width modulation technique in single phase HB inverter. Okay. That in a bipolar pulse width modulation, unipolar pulse width modulations are two techniques for, con uh, for controlling. Uh, single phase inverter. First, I will design bipolar pulse width modulation. First, I will explain this waveforms, model waveform. In this waveform, have two waves. One is a sine wave. Second one is a triangular wave. In this, in this sine wave and triangular wave, compared when sine wave is greater than triangular wave, here V A N it means pulse one on when Triangular wave is greater than sine wave. Here, pulse V3 are VG1 and VG3 are gate pulse 1 and gate pulse 3. Okay. Here, all this is a, a, a phase voltage. A means here. This is second B phase voltage. B phase voltage. Here, total output voltage. VAB. Okay. A2 neutral, B2 neutral. This is line voltage output ac voltage now uh, this is bipolar pulse width modulation pwm for h bit inverter in the circuit operating mf is equal 15 ma is equal to 0 0.8 here fm frequency okay next fcr is 900 edges here vm is the maximum voltage here vr is the reference voltage these two. Now I will start design this by bipolar pulse width modulation in MATLAB. First, I will take in commonly used block. I will take scope. I will add here next. I will go to commonly used block. Sinks. I will take. Sources. In sources, I will take one sine wave and one repeating sequence. I will add this to next. I will take one from block and go to block. Next, I will go to Simscape. In Simscape, I will click here. In I will go to fund Sim Power Systems. In power system, I will click here specialized technology. In specialized technology, click here fundamental blocks. In fundamental blocks, you will take one voltage source and in elements, in elements, I will take on resistor. Here I will take one current measurement and one voltage measurement in elements. I will take one RLC branch in voltage sources. I will take one voltage source. Okay, these are the minimum required elements. Next, I will go to power electronics. Power electronics, I will take one IGBT switch. I'll right click this one. Now I will start construction. I will remove this E, this M. I will not this show measurement port. I will remove this measurement port. Now I will rotate this one. I will rotate left to right. We will right click here, gimbal. Here, rotate option is there. Rotate left to right. 
I will click here left to right. Now I will take four more IGBT switches. Now I will take only register load. I will rotate this R load. Now I will give connections. I will connect M2C. Here also I will give M2C. Next I will charge this to voltage secondary terminal connected to here. Voltage positive terminal connected to here. Next I will connect ammeter series with load. Ammeter series with load. Next, register negative second and connected to here. This voltage I will connect across the load voltmeter. Next, I will take one voltage source, I will connect across the supply. I will select all circuits. I will right click. I will remove names. Next, I will connect one voltage. Uh, go to block here. I will connect second one here. I will take one more. And uh, now I will design EWM. Also. For switch modulation techniques, I will connect sign here triangular. Now I'll take machine link logic operators. We'll take one relation operator and one logic operator. We'll connect these two logic operators. Next, I will I will take one NAND gate. NOT gate, I will take NOT gate. In my previous video, I will explain what is use of NOT gate and what is use of R gate, all gates I explained it. You see uh, in my, my YouTube channel in my Simlink library, Simlink to Play Store. I explain the fundamentals. Next, I will change, I will give here parameter settings. I will give here M A. I will type here two pi two pi into. I will take fifty edges. In this problem, I have sixty edges. I will take only fifty edges. I apply here fifty edges. Yet I M A and fifty. Next, I will apply here. Next, I will take fundamental frequency. I will take 0 and 1 by 1 by 4th of frequency 1 by 2 FCR and 1 by 1 by 2 pi FCR and 1 by FCR. Here I will take in output it varies from magnitude 1 to minus 1 again 1. Now I, I will apply this one. Next I will type here. This is yes one. Yes one switch. I will give here S two. S two switch. These two are S one switches. Will be S1. This one also S1. I will do here S2 switch. S2 this one. 
this one also s2 okay now i will apply here 100 volts load i will give 10 ohms i will get i will take power guy black power guy I will right click i will add this power guy you take this kit for running purpose in electrical circuits we need power guide next i will take output this here we will take one dmux block also I will I will I will go to the settings. I will change the number of accesses one, two, three. Here in history, I will remove this data limit point. I will apply next. I will go to things. I will take one one max block. We'll connect to this one to this. I don't want to hear. Next. We'll take three, three elements. We will take one is the output voltage and the input voltage. Second one I will connect it to here. The first one I will give VS. VS is the supply VS is supply voltage. V naught is the output voltage. This I naught is load current. I will also give here same. VSC supply voltage. Next, I will give here V naught is the load voltage here. I naught is load current. Now I will take one one more scope. I will connect here supply side. Okay. Now in it I will type MA is equal to zero point eight. This is mod modulation index. Next FCR is equal. To, I will take nine hundred edges. Okay, MA and FCR. Now I will run the circuit. Circuit is simulating. Now I will check output. Output voltage and output current input voltage in scope. And now I will drag this one.
I will change here. Let me I will apply here zero point five. Now I will run the circuit. Now I will get the output. Okay. I got output square wave. We'll change parameter value. I will explain clearly. This is square wave, AC output voltage, okay. This is positive, zero to positive here. This is negative, this is positive, negative. Now I will show here, carrier signal and sine wave. Okay, this is waveform. In this waveform, here sine wave and triangular wave. Comparing, now I will change here. Clear window. Now I will change values. MA is equal to 0 0.95 and FCR is equal to 1000. Now I change it. Repeating sequence on the magnetic values. Now I will run this up to. Now I will check output voltage. Okay, output voltage waveform showing like this. Now I will show THD value. We will go to year history. I will give year name. I will, I will save structure with the time. Here I will tape voltage. We go voltage. I will apply. Now I will simulate this one. Okay. I will go to year power guy. In power guy, go to tools. In tools, see the air FFT analysis. In this FFT analysis, here I will take. Second one, here time start with 0 0.05. I will take number of cycles two. I will apply here fundamental frequency 50. Now I will click display. Okay, here showing 150 percentage. I will apply frequency 50. Now I will change here 0 0.07. I will take three or five cycles. Now I will click here display. Okay. Like this, we show FFT analysis. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video.